What's up, everybody? It's your boy. It's Elliot. Welcome back to another Take Care of Esports with Elrod. I finally have some good news on Halo and Halo Infinite. They're actually bringing in some content, and we got a Season 2 trailer. Here it is. And I'm not going to lie, this trailer, it looks pretty freaking hype. And the cool thing is, is Sketch, one of the community leaders from 343, Sketch confirms that everything that you see in that trailer is going to be earnable on the Battle Pass via the free and the premium versions. So it's not going to be anything in the item shop. Now let's actually screenshot that and hold them accountable to that because we've heard that in the past and then it never correlated. And in the Call of Duty community, there is a line, there's a divisive line of people who want to GA the Volk and people who do not want to GA the Volk. And personally, I don't think it's that good of a gun that it's so overwhelmingly just better than the Automaton or the MP40, that's the current two guns that are being used, that you need to GA it. But a lot of pros feel like that gun is just too strong because of the strafing speed and everything else that it can do, maybe not just the baseline stats. And whenever I hear GAs, I just get a little frustrated. And I'm not completely of the mindset, like, if it's in the game, you should be able to use it. But you guys are the pros, and if a gun is just better than another gun, instead of GAing it, why not allow people to use it? And then if everyone has it, it's an even and level playing field, which is all I care about in competition. And if you don't know, a GA is just a gentleman's agreement, just so that everyone looks and agrees, hey, we're not going to use that. It's not in the rules, but it's kind of like some of the unspoken rules of baseball. And I don't know about you guys, but the 100 Thieves have been all over my timeline recently. And it's not because of any type of controversy. They didn't win a big major event. But it's the anniversary of Courage and Valkyrie. It's the one-year anniversary of them becoming co-owners of 100 Thieves. And within their one-year recap, they have won a Valorant event, created an NFT, did a collab with Attack on Titan, dropped so much merchandise. I mean, individually, Ray and Jack have done so much, but 100 Thieves as an organization has done so much as well. And if you don't like it, you're going to have to take it up with their bodyguard, the guy who lives there free, doing security for everybody, freaking Symphony. Not only is he going to flick on your head with his aimbots, there's an aimbot on that head in real life and just tap you right out. Yeah. Are you under me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Cool. Dude, why are you Jesus Christ. God damn it. We got out of the cheater we lobby. Just... Now we're going to go back in. Oh. But I just wanted to make a quick, fun video for this Friday. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this with a friend who needs to get caught up on all things going on in esports, whether that be Call of Duty, Valorant, Halo. With that said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.